to install MariaDB you can just search for MariaDB download and uh, the first link itself you can click over here the latest version as on the day of my installation is MariaDB server 10.9.3 but what it says is this is a short term release and just it has one year of maintenance I'll install the 10.6 version 10.6.10 so Windows operating system 84 86 64 and I need MSI package if you want to use zip and uh, some other stuff then it is up to you I'm not going to change any mirror click on download once it is successfully downloaded just double click on your MSI next I am just trying to install here MariaDB and Oracle because in most of my applications I will be using MariaDB itself and in one or two videos I just want to show the database connection of Oracle as well so that is why I am just installing those two HD SQL here if you see is a client the database connecting client uh, which is being provided by default by MariaDB but I do not like it so I'm just not installing that one stuff let's go next password for the root I'm gonna give root itself confirm password leave the rest of the stuff as it is next MariaDB double three zero six this is our port of connection next just install to connect instead of using HD SQL I'll be using dbweaver let us try and download and install dbweaver as well dbweaver the first link and windows installer once this is downloaded just double click English next next agree just for me I don't want to do any other stuff here next I'd like to have a shortcut on my desktop just click and finish go over here dbweaver so to add a connection click on file new and database connection mine is MariaDB click on next so local host 3306 as we had and username is root password we gave was also root finish here you go I'll also create a database which is being used in my other videos the name is project underscore DB I'm not going to change any character set click on OK ok let us try to install the oracle as well oracle xe download so the first link itself so I am trying to download and install the express edition because this is freely available and latest one as I am not doing any more stuff using the oracle database you can just click on the link to download I am gonna cancel it because I already have this it will get a zip file over here extract once it is successfully extracted go in this you can see the MSI as well as the setup.exe I have tried with MSI but it did not work out for me so what I'm going to do is I'm just clicking on the setup yes the installation of Oracle is going to take quite a while so you need to be patient enough next so I'm just not going to change password you will have the connections for system sys pd b admin accounts once it is successfully installed you can see the database connection details over here localhost 1521 xepdb1 click on finish and we'll go to our dbweaver new new database connection as is oracle next so i'm changing the name to xcp db1 it's better if you just note it down 
the name whenever the installation is completed the username is system password we gave was root let's just finish you can see the database connection has been established in Oracle we have to create a new user and within that user the tables will be visible similar to how the tables are added within the schema for this so for that reason what I'm going to do is I'm opening a new script SQL script I'm going to create a user with name project DB and the password I'm giving it as root itself the user has been created and I'm giving all the privileges for this user if you refresh here and see you can see and there are two tables that's it from this video see you in the next video thank you